Okay, we're going to talk about a new feature added into Ultimate Golf Crash Calculator version 10.4, um, and that is auto entry. Now, what auto entry will do is it will auto automatically enter uh, your elevation information and your slider percentage information based off your shot notes. So let's go to the whole note sheet where you enter all your whole notes or shot notes. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, we have, well, first let's look at, we have a new field called uh, auto entry, uh, enter Y, it's a new column. Uh, what you would do is you would enter a Y, uh, either a capital or a small Y, uh, if you wanna be able to uh, have the elevation and slider entered uh, per what the information you put in for your shot notes. So let's look at this one. So we got T10 P0 tour. That's what I call it on this big round island. I put a Y so that the elevation here being 25% and the slider being 62% can be automatically entered if I choose so. So there's new fields entered here as well. So a description, elevation column, slider column, ball, and uh, club column. And everything else uh, remains the same. I've also, it's also been split out to, I don't know if you can see this. Let me take a look. Oh, uh, just barely getting off of there, but um, let me try to move over a little bit. Yeah, so there's a side spin and top spin has been split apart as well. And um, we'll get into that in another video. But for right now, we're only talking about the auto entry. So, since we have Y in here, uh, let's go to the main sheet. Uh, well, let's look at this, this whole Kohang Resort. I call it the Korean flag stretched out for T10 P1. Let's go back to that note. For my T10 P1, the Kohang is a, a Y and I have 50 and 100 for shot ID 1. And then for shot ID two for the same hole in the headwind, I have a 30 elevation and 2% slider. Uh, so let's go back to the main page. Okay. So from the tour T10 P1, I'm selecting the hole, Kohang Resort three, Korean flag stretched out. And I can see I have two shot line items here, hole ID one, hole ID two. A whole ID one has 50% elevation, 100% slider. Shot note two has 30% elevation, 2% slider. Now, because I put a Y that yes, I want auto entry for one, and I also put a Y in the field that I want auto entry for two. When you enter the whole ID, let's say I do one, oh, I shot comes up, it's tail on one. And so what happens is that the auto entry light comes on, or indicator not light, but auto entry indicator will come on. Uh, and what that is letting you know is the, the information that you put in your shot notes or your whole notes, the 50% elevation and the 100 print slider is automatically entered. It's overriding any elevation information you put in your manual part and the slider information. So focus on Let's look at the sniper, or uh, actually go to the top. Fo let's focus on the APOC number, 22.4. Um, now, as I change the manual part, 10, you can see that it's not affecting the information at all. I can so I can put anything in it, uh, the elevation entries or adjust my slider. Nothing is being entered because it's taking the information uh, from your auto entry information, 50% elevation. 100% slider. Now, uh, take a look at the take a look at the number again, 22.4 for APOC. Once I take off the whole ID, you'll see that the indicators go away. The auto entry indicator in red, and also the elevation entry in red, and the slider entry in red. The automated, the auto entered information is gone too. So now the manual entry uh, is what will determine your rings to pull for your APOC. And you can see it changed to 15 here. And if I change it to 30, you can see it's being affected now 100%, right? So again, you need two things. One, you put Y 
into your whole note sheet. And then on the main page, uh, if it is a Y in the whole notes, then you enter it, the whole ID for it, and this is gonna put one, and you can focus on APOC as soon as I enter it. You can see the auto entry light comes on, 50% elevation, and 100% slider has it put in because that's what I had on my shot notes. So uh, it really, you know, using it, trying to make sure it's working okay. Um, yeah, I do realize it does save time uh, and it is a useful feature. So how the flow would work again, you go to a shootout hole, you, jump, you won't have anything here. You're gonna say, oh, okay, what's gonna come up? You're waiting for something to come up. Oh, you go say, oh, okay, it's the Korean flag stretched out. You watch for the wind to come up. Oh, it's tailwind. So you put one and you just continue down and you enter your tailwind numbers of 30, you maybe in 12 miles per hour, right? And you're ready to go and take your shot. Um, and it works the best if you can organize your notes. So make sure you have it however way you feel best to organize it. My sense, my, what I did was I always put my tailwind situation first and then my headwind situation as two. You can number it anyway, you can organize it how you want. But yeah, new feature for uh, version 10.4. I hope you find it useful. Okay, thanks. <laughs>